What's up, whoever's watching this? Out here in the Pacific Northwest, in the damn woods. Having some fun, shooting targets way down there. Looks far, but it's a piece of crap iPhone. It's only 100 yards. But I just wanted to make a quick review on my Weatherby Vanguard. It's actually a great gun. I mean, you shoot more than five shots and you're gonna have a little bit of strays, but it's cheap. But anyhow, we got the Vortex Venom 5 to 25 by 56. A little nice for a truck gun that gets bounced around. But it shoots good. Not a big fan of the stock. Not a super high cheek weld, but it's better than, I guess, most other guns that you can get for the price range. The hand grip is like not even, I mean, it's barely a 45 degree angle, but hey, it is what it is. Get what you get for that price. I was thinking about getting a nice MDT stock or something. But anyhow, to how it shoots, I could not be more impressed. This thing hits clay pigeons at 100 yards every time, and I'm not the greatest shot in the world. Practicing getting better, but not the greatest. I will say that I've had some issues with the uh, Hornady ELDX going through it, the hunting rounds, but I have had pretty decent luck with the Hornady match as far as when you're just out target shooting. I wouldn't suggest hunting with these, but I mean, if you had to and it was closest range, I think you'd be all right. These cycle through it great. These VORTX center fire long range cartridges from Barnes. They uh, got a little bit more drop because it's a lighter bullet. It's got that 127 grain. Um, and definitely increases the feet per second on that guy. They fly fast. You're going to have probably just as good a luck with those hunting from 100 yards to about 600 yards. I would say those shoot through the gun the best, but I mean, it's this gun specifically. You might get a Weatherby Vanguard and you know, it could shoot perfectly with the Hornady MR or whatever is at your closest store. But uh, just shooting in the back of the truck with the bags, not the best shooting setup. It's uh, just a pinch bag, the cheap Caldwell ones you can get. But anyway, let me see if I can set the phone up for a second or just hold it and kind of let you guys see. It's in 6.5 PRC. Uh, super cool round. I've always been a 7 mag guy, but 6.5 PRC for sure now. I love 6.5 PRC. It's got a nice... I wish this came in a short mag. You can get some of the 6.5 PRCs in a uh, short mag platform but you can see it's a fatty it's got a nice long bullet with a dovetail in there and it's not a belted cartridge like the seven rem the seven rem mag is um i will say shooting these uh the barns the long range with the lighter grain shooting a little bit faster they do show a little bit signs of pressure so i wouldn't go out and uh feed a ton of these through your gun I would use them more for a uh, hunting basis man this phone sucks super old iPhone all right let's uh, send one down range I'm gonna go for a clay pigeon that you guys probably can't see but let's see if I can get it kind of set up Drilled it. Not sure if you guys were able to see that or not. I apologize, I wish I had my GoPro, but my wife's hunting for elk over here. Uh, a little west of Forks, so I don't have my GoPro and all that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.